Let's look at question number four. All right, we've got Carpino Accounting Services provides accounting services for people in Inner Melbourne. Account balances for Carpino Services are provided below as at the 30th of June 2016. And we're given a whole heap of account balances. So this is a good piece of information. It tells me there's some additional information that's not reflected in the above table. It says depreciation has been not been recorded in the financial year 2015-16 for motor vehicles purchased on the 1st of the 10th, 2015. The motor vehicle is expected to have a useful life of five years and a residual balance of $10,000. The depreciation used is a straight line method. So there's a good bit of information there. It says depreciation has not been recorded for the computer equipment either. So we've got some computer equipment. The method of depreciation is diminishing balance or reducing balance and the depreciation rate is 30%. So there's a bit of information there that I need to look at as well. And it says use the information in the above table and the additional information to prepare an income statement, a balance sheet, uh, and there's some theory questions, which everyone always loves, theory questions. All right, so the first thing I wanna really look at is how I'm gonna use this depreciation information. So let's have a look, my depreciation information, I need to make some calculations. Uh, so let's have a look here. Depreciation has not been recorded for the financial year 2015. So motor vehicles, I'm looking for my motor vehicles. There's $60,000 there where the motor vehicles. Uh, let me highlight that. Okay. And it says the motor vehicles is expected to have a useful life of five years and a residual value of 10,000. The depreciation used is straight line method. So for my straight line method, My formula, and you can find your formulas in your formula sheet. If you're wondering where they are, they're just at the next page. So there's my formulas. Um, is my cost minus my residual divided by my life. Now the cost of my um, assets is 60,000 minus my residual value of 10,000 divided by my five years of useful life and this equals $10,000 per annum. All right, so now I'm gonna have depreciation here but it tells me that I purchased these on the 1st of the 10th, 2016. So I've got October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. I've got nine months that I have to take into consideration. So really what I've got is nine twelfths times 10,000 equals 7,500. So I'm gonna have depreciation expense of 7,500 and accumulated depreciation of 7,500, and that's for my motor vehicles. The next piece of information, so let me just draw a line there. Next piece of information says that um, depreciation has not been recorded for the computer equipment either. Where's my computer equipment? Up here, it's 12,000. So we're looking at that number. And, um, the depreciation has not been recorded uh, for this using the diminishing balance and the depreciation rate is 30%. So what we're looking for here in my diminishing balance, my formula is my cost minus my accumulated depreciation Oops. times my rate. So my cost is 12,000. Have we got any accumulated depreciation for a computer equipment? We've got, yeah, we've got 4,000 here. So I've got 4,000 <coughs> times my rate of 30%. So what do we get there? We get, that's 8,000 
So we're two thousand four hundred dollars. So that's my depreciation for the year. So now it tells me that um, depreciation has not been recorded. So I'll have to adjust my accumulated depreciation here. This is no longer going to be four thousand. It's going to be four thousand plus two thousand four hundred. So it'll be six thousand four hundred. And my depreciation expense plus computers will be 2,400 plus 7,500 will equal, what's that, 9,900. So I have made two adjustments to my um, accounts. Or I've made adjustments for my accounts to include this depreciation and this depreciation as well. Uh, you will be asked to calculate a depreciation. Now, once I have done this, what's the next step I need to do in preparing an income statement? Classify. classify. <laughs> All right. So now what am I classifying into? My classifications will be what? Current income, assets. expenses, current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, and... So everything should fall under one of these categories. So what would I classify my cash as bank as? Current asset, accounts receivable, current asset, accounts payable, current liability, accumulated depreciation from computer equipment. Yeah, it's a negative non-current asset. Computer equipment, non-current asset bank loan non-current liability uh, capital equity computer maintenance expenses yep drawings rent expense that's easy wages revenue income Prepaid revenue, current asset, yep. Prepaid rent, oh no, hang on, prepaid revenue, is it a current asset or a current liability? Sorry, I was getting excited there and I was looking at rent. Okay, prepaid rent, current asset. Motor vehicles, non-current asset. Stationary expense, well that one's easy because it tells me. Interest paid on loan, expense, yep. My depreciation expenses, there's an expense. And my accumulated depreciation for motor vehicles, non-current asset. So now I've done the hard bits. Now I just have to prepare an income statement and a balance sheet. So we'll do that now. <coughs> 